Card for me, thank you so much, Pepper Lump. I didn't write a card. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That was staff. That was staff. That wasn't me. What the heck? What the heck? But I did see on Twitter some people, some people posting, and they got and they got little little cards and stuff. Very neat, very neat, very very made with love kind of touch. Uh, dance girl, thank you, baby. Good as rabbit. Thank you, thank you, Kiki Zulu. Thank you, baby. Bunny, bunny. Uh, happy same thing, baby. My girlfriend loved me, Peppa, so I'm back. Send in love. <laughs> Welcome back, man. Welcome back. I'm sorry your girlfriend left you. Uh, her, her loss, clearly. <laughs> Super dog thing, baby, baby. One year! By the way, chat, you are here forever. You are here forever. Uh, pal comment, thing, baby, baby. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you. Enjoy your Russian. Well, I can't speak Russian, and I'm not exactly Russian to learn it. <laughs> Funny. Sky, thank you, baby. You didn't write my card. I feel scared. I'm sorry. Uh, Die Hard Saint, thank you, baby. Peppa Love. Uh, and I'm like, thank you, baby. Happy birthday, Peppa. Uh, Dread it, thank you, baby. Can't do anything. Dolores, how was the hangover? Hope all is well. It wasn't bad. I drank water. I drank water while drinking, because I'm not a dumbass. Uh, Solar Crunchy, then Gumby Bee got my Pippa Switcher today. Let's go! Nice! No, no, then Gumby Bee Bee! Uh, Best Bad is in front of the Most Canadian stream title I've seen yet! Squeaky Moose, then Gumby Bee, my birthday was on Saturday. Can I get some birthday sing song? <gasps> Happy birthday, Squeaky Moose! Happy birthday, Squeaky Moose! Happy birthday, dear Squeaky Moose! Happy birthday to you! Uh, Van Dalken, then gonna be Tablo's Baba! Made by Nikita Krilkov. F window function full screen mode. V audio volume. Okay. Uh, not one of us, then gonna be drinking water. I'm proud of you, Daniel. Then gonna be here's to another month! Ah! Uh, TD Shelby, then we're going this game is fantastic, but only about 30 minutes long. I suggest having the pre cold milk outside of a bag of milk, which is fantastic. Isn't this the. The prequel? I thought this was the prequel. Lily Squall, thank you for the ten dollars. You did run my card. I feel so betrayed by my OG. I'm sorry. I would have if they if they did like the little sendy thing, right? If they had like mailed me the cards and stuff, I would have been up for it. I would have been up for it. Oh, sequel. Pip can't read. I can't read. It's true. I can't read. Pokemon thing gonna make me. I love this game every day. Oh, you live this game every day. <laughs> uh, yo, boy. Krampus thing gonna make me. These two years are the longest time I've ever paid attention to a woman, and I find that very amusing. Excuse me. Listen, buddy. You won't be saying that when eventually we get our first female president. All right. You're gonna you're gonna be paying attention then. All right. You 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 fuck it. You just you wait. We'll get them next time, boys! <laughs> Probably the kid in the year 2001. There's approved English. I learned that stuff. Uh, Tech this name, baby. Happy birthday, chicken pizza. Squeaky Moosey, you're 1999. My heart is happy now. Thanks, Siskin. Thank you, thank you. I hope you had a good birthday. Rodrigo, thank you, baby. Is this the stream where we finally get pilk? Jesus Christ. Table mug, thank you, baby. Female president. <laughs> Nova Crusader, thank you, my lord. It's my second year anniversary. March arrived. I also got the clock. Nice! Eat thing gonna be implying we can't ignore a female president too. I gotta say, I've heard like nothing about Biden beyond just memes. Usually, usually, right? There's like, there's like, oh yeah, the president did this, the president did that, but it's like I only ever fucking hear about Biden when he falls asleep mid-conference. Do thing come be. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Help me, my milk. Okay. Write down your name. My name is Pippa. Hmm. I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I've completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store! Who are you talking to? Shut up and go already. Shut up! 
up and get out of here. Uh, hey, aren't you supposed to help me? I take a deep breath of air. I should have put myself on the other side because I'm like looking down in the corner over here. <laughs> I take a deep breath of air. Hello? Can I? Uh... Crap, I forgot. 19th attempt and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So once again... Hello? Can I get... Wow, that's a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying my best. Maybe I should do different voices. Maybe I should do like a little... Little reverb for the... Meta. Back to Zing Fred does a lot! She competes and becomes president we're gonna... Get interesting. Ha <laughs> you know. I already run things behind the scenes, you guys just don't know about it. Nathan Smith and come big pee-pee! Uh... DCM Scott and come big pee-pee! The only options are chat. Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello, can I... Uh, I wish I hadn't said anything! Haha, <laughs> loser! Don't insult me, please. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. What?! My right foot is frozen in the air. H how much? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the grass. You have to undo the previous step. <laughs> how do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on, you're so stupid. Idiot. Oh. Oops. Huh. Huh. Looks like Pippa doesn't help me at all. I guess I'll try something else next time. Fuck you. Frank of Furia, then come pick me. Hi, Pippa, hi. What the fuck? Okay, Pipper. I hope you can... Fuck you! <gasps> I hope you can do it better than Pippa! What the fuck? Am I like a manifestation of OCD for them or something? Fuck you! Get competent, idiot! I walked down the to the store and rehearsed my speech. It's been so long I've been out of the house that I've completely forgotten what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store! Who are you talking to? I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? What game? Well, you know. There are games where you can see the character's thoughts right on screen, you know? So I thought, if someone is reading my mind, I need to be very focused so I don't blurt out too much. <laughs> I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I... Hmm... Hmm... Crap, I forgot. Nineteenth attempt and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So once again... Hello, can I get... Wow, that's a whole world more! Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello, can I get... Uh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Don't worry. Okay. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. I spoke, it's over. Sorry! Leave me alone! I saw my thing be eating my doors. Have confidence, bed end. No confidence. Uh, bye. Ooh, shroud. Ding, gum, pee, pee. In game character has a lisp. Shut up! What? My right foot is frozen in the air. How much? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the grass. You have to undo the previous step. <laughs> How do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. I... I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Uh, here we go again. So. Step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute. What do you mean, step one? What then? 
But it's already the 52nd. Or, wait, I'm going backwards. So what's the 50th? It doesn't add up. Okay, okay. Step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so you'll be very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? For the best day, they went to Lord's Hill Open, but can I get a dog on? Uh, stay red, then come pee pee. Let's all Alright, thank you. Uh, Melvin Merkel Hopper, thank you, Lord's. Apparently, in this game, you are the voice in a mentally ill girl's head trying to get her life. Trying to get her to live her life! Accurate Capitalist Simulator! Jesus Christ. Well, are you ready? Hell yeah! I carefully moved my foot backward, looking carefully into the dense grass. As I entered the store, I turned to the first person I see. Hello, can I... Huh? Excuse me, what? Oh. Oh. oh wait, no, I think this is us talking. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. You shouldn't have done that. He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. Excuse me? What? Oh. Excuse me? What? Wait, can we like backspace or something? Is there something we can do? Is there something we can do? We're looping again! I'm good at looping. Not to brag or anything, but I'm kind of a professional looper. The dick thing or Dolores Pippa's Wrangler Simulator. If I say thing, Dolores. Oh, I read it. Uh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Well. Excuse me, what? Oh. What? Oh. What, is, oh. what is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the little roll? What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. Ah, maybe like a, maybe like a big mouth. Maybe like a, maybe, maybe like a, like a, like a big mouth with no teeth. Like a fish's mouth on a person's head. Looks like I think with Let's do the time loop again. I think O is a nice letter. It's nice and symmetrical. You know? Not in, like, a complicated way, but just, like... It's just, like, a perfect circle, you know? Emilio Centella, then come with me. Here's my last five dollars in my bank account, Pippa. Let's go! Don't give me your last five dollars! What the fuck? I don't want your last five dollars! Go spend that on a pack of Skittles or something! I can show you. Explaining won't be enough, but keep... It's not that scary. It's like an eclipse. Eclipses are cool. Mega Man, then come with me. Oh. Something like that. So, I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Uh, what? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. I gather all my will into a fist. Oh. Oh, I just got an achievement. Oh, oh, oh. Open wings and doors. Here's the last two of my life savings. Use it well. Ow! I did some gaming thing for doors. Hey, Rabbit, do you know of any anime made merch delay? I do not. You would have to email them and ask them. Go down and come with me. My interlocu interlocutor shook and crawled away. You just repeated after him. And it worked. Do it more often. The Matthias thing we're talking about. Arrgh, spent my last five dollars died. Let's go! Shut the fuck up. Wait, I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Just now. 
Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. Pippa, my money just broke up with me. Lemon, Lupin, Ruben, Dingo, baby. Pippa, these are the last of my monies before I run out. Please accept them. One dango, dango. I'm standing by the shelves on the rack. There are bags of milk. We both stand in the milk lines. Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you're here? To buy milk. So buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? Um, I guess something like, not here? Not here. Take the bag and go to the cash register. Or you're getting on my nerves. Put a thing in the I found the school card outside today and it lets me get free stuff. Oh my god, buy my thing in the noise. Here's my last five dollars in my name. I sure hope I don't overdraft my cat. You guys are so dumb. You guys are so dumb. Mercy, anything in the Here's the last two of my life spent it for just. Shut up! Okay. I guess the first sentence. And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You want to rob me of my little victories? I sigh and reach out to take the milk, or rather, the bag with the milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside of a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside... Come on! Come on! Fifteen minutes before the store closes, hurry up! I remembered what these games are called, visual novels! And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, with letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But there are the authors are not... But there, the authors are not lazy, so don't get lazy either. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth! Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or you'll get it at home again. I'm on my way! I keep stumbling. If it's just text, isn't that a text adventure? I mean, it's a... it's a... I don't know, actually. What's the difference between a visual novel and a text adventure? Hello. Can I get some milk, please? Have it. Ah. Gif. I put a weeny bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk, too. Hi, can I... Can I have it? Please? No. Please? No. But please? Mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. No! But why not? Give more! But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you. You are pathetic. Pay for the milk. Not exiting the Moors. I thought about... I thought about using this money to buy some cookies, but they're better spent with my favorite skits. Oh, Bonnie! Some minor cookies! I'm glad I didn't lose, but take my last tenner and don't want to waste on your gay-ass Jong game. Fuck you! You will spend money on Jong and you will like it! Can catch anything, oh baby. Here's no money, but 28 free super, so suck it, everyone else. I never did a thing in the Norris, was gonna buy a pizza, no, but now Pippa's my only food. And my gaming thing, oh baby. Pippa, today's my son and TJ's birthday. Can you sing a happy birthday? Happy birthday, TJ! Happy birthday to you. I need to stop interrupting the game to read super chat. It's kind of breaking up the flow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear TJ. <laughs> happy birthday to you. As I break up the birthday song, breaking up more things. They hate you, you're pathetic, pay for the milk. Well, realistically, it's this one, right? They don't hate you. The cashier doesn't hate you when you're annoying. Right? The cashier just thinks you're annoying. They just look down on you. They don't hate you. Hating hating is dedicating too much energy. So pay for the milk. <sighs> really? What would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of the, my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. Hmm. It took about two days before he nodded contentedly and put it in the cash, reg cash register. Thank you. Goodbye. I walk down a familiar street past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't think anything of it. I'm just... 
I, I just love the pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. Jesus Christ, that was a tongue twister. The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile-long bar of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I'd tell you. But I'm really interested. Or you're just a weirdo. A mile-long bar of ice cream. Maybe they feel... Highly condensed. And they've got a lot of surface area ready to melt. <laughs> well, look! The ratio of water to milk and the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best unless you want to drink more than eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick and the road from the gas station to home is ice cream. During today's walk, my body has been to every part of this path. Simple math! I see. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt grains, petrol stains. I'm trying to keep my balance. And how do people move over something as uneven as the city plain? Gently, heel, toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out! Huh? I unconsciously take a sharp step to the side. At the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. Hey, I'm walking here! I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes, in turn, look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen! It was a truck. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their heads? You could've... Oh, you could've died. Come on, are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? You're sick. The world is a cruel and dangerous place. I'm not in the world you're talking about. She's schizo. She's a little bit schizo. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I am in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now, I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Has it ever occurred to you that it's all just in your head? Hmm. That's not what- oh, that's not what the manual said at all. Apparently, these pills don't work for me either. The pills have nothing to do with it. Hmm. Please, I just want to go home and go to bed. I really, really am very grateful to you, but please, no more. Hey, what do we do here? You have to accept the truth. Hmm. Meds fried her brain, the, the pills fried, 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 fried her brain. I opened the soda and didn't drink any. Hold on. I could have just gotten out of my chair and grabbed the straw, but instead I instead I strained myself to reach really far. And now, like, the other side of my body hurts. Not the side that I reached to grab the straw with, but the opposite. It's good. It's stretching. It was all part of Keikaku, okay? Notification thing to watch, but should I get KFC or Kane Asada fries? Oh, you should get KFC and you should get a spicy world famous bowl. You know? It's a little bit greasy though. Pills and Dending on 333. Blushy status! I don't actually have a plushie on my lap today. I am... I'm slacking. I'm slacking. Hmm. Hmm. Should I have grabbed a plushie? Hold on! Hold on! I can resolve this very easily! Oh my god, it's heavy. Uh, chat, not to brag or anything, but I have the giant Indoraptor. T not to brag. Not to brag or anything. But, you know. You know. Hold on. Here we go. Can you... Hold on. Dinosaur scratching the mic ASMR. Can you, can you hear it? That's like its mouth moving. 
not perhaps hold on let me adjust the legs there we go maybe not the best cuddle buddy but you know does the job the cold pressure is a bit nice lap plushie got an upgrade lap plushie got an upgrade it's kind of hard to access my keyboard with this thing on my lap but that's fine <laughs> i'm gonna take a shit not your greatest purchase for lap plushie not my greatest purchase for lap plushie but you know i'll change the pace nine hundred dollars well spent it was not nine hundred dollars Although they do have, they do have dinosaur figurines that are like multiple hundred dollars and they're really high quality. I'm blanking on the name right now, but they are, they are very beautiful figures. And it is very tempting, but I'm not going to spend multiple hundred dollars on the dinosaur figures. <sighs> um. Hmm. You go like me. Imagine Pippa finishing a game on stream. Couldn't be me. Shut up. I'm gonna stay silent. I don't want to piss her off and end the game. You know what? What? Since I am a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. If you say so, it could hurt your recovery. I forcefully squeeze my head with my hands and place a thought block. Hmm. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench. The perfect place for cliched visual novel monologues. I move closer, place a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. You're gonna look so silly looking like this. You're gonna look really silly. You're clutching your head. You're clutching your head like you're having a meltdown while sitting on a sitting on a bench in public. Hmm. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I realize that I'm going crazy. The medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um... I can type here. Schizophrenia? Oh, there's not enough characters. Um... Pickled cucumber thing are dollars. They may look silly, but they're free. Psychosis? Are you perhaps talking about psychosis? I will be honest with you, and I expect the same from you, please. Do you know what I'm talking about? She has severe OCD. OCD? I will be honest with you, and I expect the same from you. Be honest with me, please. Yes, no? They want a yes, no answer. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of smart. I kind of know everything. Really? I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? Hmm. To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it, because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. Hmm. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnosis. Let at least you be the one who sees me for who I am. Even though I made you up, don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. Hmm. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. That must seem crazy and weird to you. <laughs> hmm. I just like to see the world through my eyes. Ever since... Hmm... Something happened. All I see is red. Red blood everywhere. No, oh, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I'd even forgotten what other colors looked like. Come on! <laughs> uh... Those monsters from the store? They didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? Can I say no? Can I say no? It'd probably game end, right? It'd probably, it'd probably, it'd probably just end the game. Say no. It's not letting me type. Huh? Ah! Ah! It like froze. 
Rose. Maybe. <laughs> I'm serious! Hmm. Of course you couldn't help but ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So you're really that interested in what happened to me? <laughs> I won't waste time. What do you see? Um... I see... A Digimon under... One of them... Balbo trees, or whatever they're called. Take the dick thing, Dolores. Is this Canadian Santa Uta? Digimon! JP thing, Dolores. When is the MC joining Phase Connect? I don't think the game wanted that answer. Hmm. Anyway. This is my dad. Some of his parts, at least. Hmm. We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I never would have thought. Did he blow his head off? Or did he get hit by something? I wonder... Huh. Just a flesh wound. Hi, Dad. I'm Milk. Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out the window and died. Oh! Wait, and you're worried that your mother's gonna throw you out the window? That's a bit of an owie. Yeah, that's a little bit of an oopsie. Ha! Huh, he did a flip. He did a flip. He didn't fly so good. No, he did not. Lesson learned. He got hit by the ground. <laughs> He got hit by the ground! A patchy thing to like that committed Digimon! <laughs> this is my last memory. Then, a long gap. He did a Kyler. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Today is the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however, I think it's more your merit. I kept thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader. Or, oh my god, what will you think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but... It clearly paid off. No, it's helpful. It's helpful. I mean, I don't... I don't envision things like this, but like... Unironically, using the visual novel format can get you through a lot of shit, right? Because it's like, it's hard to come up with answers for things, right? But if you imagine it like it's a visual novel, and that there'll be like stat increases or stat decreases for your different answers and there's like hidden stats and stuff and there's like only only a few limited amount of answers then you don't get like as much decision paralysis you know but you have to get into the mindset and you have to get into like the swing of things because otherwise if you if you take the time to like stop and think you just end up sitting there not being able to come up with anything you know thank you Hmm. By the way, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. I'll be used to this. I mean, same concept, but not same execution. That's how I like it. <laughs> and yet, I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad. Well, you know. Day after day, it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> hmm. But you know what? Today is a special day because I have you! There's so much I want to tell you. Uh oh, that was very rude of you. Oh no. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just advising you to go home. Hmm. I understand. Well, dear reader, shall we go? Maybe the girl's got a benign tumor messing with her brain chemistry? I don't know. When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing. Repeating this action every day like a ritual, I stop being afraid of heights altogether. Whoa. This is her apartment complex? Are these squares the windows? 
A few minutes ago, the effects of the medicine finally wore off, so I just enjoy the blissful silence. When I am under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. They create a terrible dissonance in my head. Hmm. It's a sewer. I think it's a sewer? <laughs> I turn around and go to my apartment. It's an apartment complex, a Slavic block. Hello? Did you bring the milk? Hi, Mom. Did you bring the milk? Yes, Mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mom. Go to bed. Yes, Mom. Milk bot achievement. Oh. Jesus. Oh, I can see where the kid gets it from. Yeah, I wonder why your fucking dad killed himself. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> I could become, like, a professional milk buyer at this rate. God damn. Mom is a demon monster. I think, I think that's just... I don't know. I don't know. I would say normally that I feel like it's just a visual representation of how she feels talking to her mother. But she also says she can only see red. So maybe that is quite literally how she views people. I want to try it if I just, if I just, um, if I, if I'm nice until I get to like the questioning part and then I keep pressing on her. When she's on the bench. But I don't think I can... Oh. I don't think I can, like, speed through. Let's try to find more paths. I don't know if there are more paths. I'm kind of curious. It's a mannequin, probably? You think so? Pipple. Pipple people. I think the red thing is also symbolism. I don't know. I wonder what she does actually have. Like, I feel like it's gotta be like... Oh, there's only two paths? This game is rather short, the sequel has a lot more. Hmm. Pipkin Pippa, milk acquisition specialist. Mom also be the Digimon. The girl isn't a reliable narrator, which is important. Milk outside a bag of milk? Outside a bag of milk now? Should I pick it up? Yeah, I'm kind of a speedrunner. I fancy myself a little bit of a speedrunner. Yeah, we'll take five dollars. Bag, I was bagged once. They put me in a bucket. A bucket of milk. Milk, milk puts me in a bag. Bag, I was bagged once. Play the sequel? It takes so long to get back to where we were. Oh, I could have saved. Maybe. I should have shaved. And then I wouldn't have to do this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think now we're at the point. Almost. We're right there. That? Yeah. Wait, this is different. What? Isn't it? My journey continues. Did we see this? No, it's not. Oh wait, yeah, no, it's not. It's not different. Is the same? Yes? No? Okay. Let's keep pressing on her. 
No. You have to accept the truth. No. You have to oh, you have to accept the truth. No. You have to accept the truth. Oh. <laughs> Where? She just says no and interrupts. This dinosaur is very bulky. Parkwa then run more. Dad also wanted to buy milk and forgot how to use stairs, so Digimon himself out the window instead. <gasps> I like how Digimon is our, is our new word for Minecrafting. This is pretty trash. I thought it was I thought it was a neat little thing. Now I have to buy the other game though. Hold on, milk. Outside of a bag of milk. Oh wait, this one's got more like graphics and shit. Yo! For the price of the game, I could buy a whole bundle. But... It looks like it's just the game. Oh wait, no. There's two games? Visions from the ceiling. I guess that's another game? I don't know. Whatever, I'm buying... I'm buying the bundle. Take your meds! Do your reps! The autumn sale just started! Yeah! Yeah, waste your money, Chad! Waste your money on video games! Yeah. yeah, but what happened to the crystal juice? Uh, it's actually growing pretty well! It's growing, it's growing really well, actually. Why do I click download game and then it pauses and it installs something else? Steam, can you fucking stop that? Mm. Then I'm gonna link for the Lord's. Can you Digimon Papasum to the Indo Raptor, Raptor and make it con? Uh, ah! I can't, I can't. Speak English. Good. Hold on. You wanna see the crystals? I'll post them on Twitter. I'll post them on Twitter. I have two pictures. ESL. I'm not ESL! I think. I don't know. I might as well be, bro. I might as well be. Okay, this one doesn't want to capture on game capture for some reason. I feel like they're probably made on the same engine. Also, this one's widescreen. Do we want to keep that widescreen? I guess we can... I guess we can just... There we go. What do you think of the five dollars? Speaking of games on sale, 100% orange juice is 70% off, so it's like 30% orange juice. You fucking... Shut up. Shut the hell up. You shut the hell up, idiot. Alright. I green. Okay, I'm taking the Indoraptor off of my lap. It's annoying. It is not good. I rate the Indoraptor! One out of five stars for lap plush cuddling. Not good. Not bueno. I'm grabbing Baiju. I'm grabbing Baiju. Is he right here? Oh, anime. Oh! Oh wait, that's what we saw last time. The 50? The 51? Ah! Microphone! Oh no, my microphone fell off. Store is closing soon. Let me screw that back on. Boom! Yeah. There we go, lads. Here we go. She's literally me, for real, for real? Oh god, I wish I could pause it. Hello, can I? I will never forget, one time Mama King sent me out to go, to go, to go buy stuff, right? She sent me out to the grocery store. So I go out to the grocery store, right? And I've got her card. And the entire time, I'm just schizoing out, thinking that somebody's gonna, like, ask to ID me. It won't take much time. And, 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 oh, what do you see? And, and it's like, cause it's like, it's her name on the card. Are you sure? Anyways, it's... Oh. What a funky circular building. Super dogs in Dolores. This is an ad for Gen 3, Moo Moo. Oh. And she was like, oh, and stop by the bank and pick up, uh, uh, do a withdrawal for me. 
So I'm like, okay. And I fucking go to the bank ATM. Go to the bank ATM and do a withdrawal. And it eats the card! And I'm like... I'm like... So... <laughs> so mom... Ma mama kin... <laughs> I've got a funny story for you. And she's like, what? And I'm like, it ate your card. <laughs> The bank ATM ate your card, and I talked to the people, and I can't get it back because I'm not you. And... Pinned wrong three times. I think that's what it was. I think that's what it was. Because I remember... I remember earlier at the store as well. Um... Or were these on two different days? I can't remember. But... Uh, I, it required a pin... And I remember, I remember specifically, it was at fucking Safeway. I was at Safeway. And it's like, there's not that many checkout registers, right? And Safeway is never like a busy store. So like, I'm just standing there. And there's one of the fucking like, self... Checkout, help register people just like standing there watching me the entire time basically. Because there's literally nothing else to do. There's like nobody else in the fucking store. So I'm... I'm standing there, and I'm like... I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, can you cancel this so I can try a different payment method and stuff to them, like, multiple times and shit? And, and he's being really nice and accommodating and just staring at me like I'm a fucking retard. And I'm talking to Mama Kin on the phone, and she's like, Pippa, all you have to do is do, a uh, fucking debit and not uh, credit or whatever. Whatever the fuck. And I'm like, I did that, and it wants a pin. And she's like... Well, it doesn't require a pin when I go in, so you're doing something wrong. And I'm like, but I'm telling you right now, when I click it, it requires a pin. And she's like, oh, well, just hit the OK button anyways. Hit the Enter button, and it'll just it'll just go anyways. And I'm like, uh, I'm trying that. It's telling me I need a pin. And she's like, it doesn't need a pin, Pippa. Oh my God. Okay, try. And then she starts she starts going through a whole bunch of numbers. She starts going through a whole bunch of numbers with me. And I'm just, how old were you, Pippa? I was like, I was like in high school. And, and she's, she's not gonna be on the phone and she's getting frustrated. I'm getting frustrated because I feel like a fucking idiot standing there with a fucking carload of groceries. Like, what the fuck am I gonna do if the fucking payment doesn't accept? What am I gonna do? What the fuck am I gonna do? Am I just gonna go put all that shit back? Am I just gonna put all that shit fucking back? After I just fucking asked this fucking self-help checkout motherfucker to reset the fucking system for me like three fucking times? Oh my god! Anyways, I forget, I forget how, but it ended up working eventually. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Having fun reliving that one! No. <laughs> yeah, the ending. Yeah, it ended up working. It ended up working. But that, like... <laughs> that made me never want to do errands for Mama Kid ever again. Dang, they were fine, Dolores. Please be kind to the milk girl. She was trying her best. Eric Lowry, they were Dolores. This is literally my worst nightmare. <laughs> This is so awkward. Just in Rip Stocking for Boys. Next Lego stream. Uh, probably, probably sometimes this week. I got, I got lots of Legos prepped. Um. Oh. Yeah, it was just. I don't know. And then at the bank. At the bank, it was like. So it eats the card, right? Because you keep getting the pin wrong. Because she keeps telling me the wrong pin. Which, like, it's your card. How do you not know the fucking pin? Alright? It's, like, come on. Come on. Um. So it eats the card, and I'm, like, talking over, like, the little intercom speaker thing with the, with the, with the, with the bank person at the ATM. And, and they're like, Oh! Well. You shouldn't be making, you shouldn't be making withdrawals when it's not your thing anyways. It's not your card, so why are you doing withdrawals anyways? And I'm like... Bro, I, ju I just came to pick something up for my mom. 
I, I just, I just came to pick up, I, I, like, come on, man, like, do you want, do you want to see my ID? Like, we have the same last name, all right, like, my, my address is on, like, the, it's gonna be the same as her address, like, like, what, what do you, what do you want from me? And, and this lady's just, like, getting fucking mad, she's like, well, uh, you know, like, we have these protocols in place, specifically, so people won't do things like that, and I'm just sitting here like, pro, 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 please, please, just shut the fuck up, just shut the fuck up, I mean, I didn't say that door. And then I call, I call Mamakin, and then I'm playing, like, fucking the Messenger. I'm, I'm playing Middleman, and I'm like, okay, Mamakin, the lady on the, on the, on the intercom said that, like, you have to come pick it up. And, and Mamakin's like, no, you tell her that you're my daughter, and you want me, you, you, I, I want you to withdraw the, with the, with the money. And I'm like, uh, she's not gonna care. And Mama is like, yeah, you tell her, you tell her. And I'm talking to the intercom lady back after that. I'm like, um, my mom says she'll be here tomorrow to pick it up or earlier today uh, or later later today. What, what time, when can she come pick it up? <laughs> and Mama kid's on the phone and she's like, if you would just tell her, if you would just tell her that you're my daughter, they'll let you pick it up. I don't know why they would let you just pick it up. And I'm like, <laughs> They don't care. They don't care. Just come pick up the fucking card yourself. Shit is so... Like, what are you supposed to... What am I supposed to do, Jack? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Keep telling the lady? No, you don't understand. She's my mom. Let me pick up the card. We are, we're past that point. We're past that point. We can't go any further. Dead end road. Back it up. Turn around. Stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> if Mama Kin's watching this, hi Mama Kin, love you. Never want to go, never want to go errand running with you ever, never. Love you, love you. <laughs> All right, new game. Jesus, couldn't give the phone to them. It was over the intercom. It was like an outdoor ATM thing, and it's like it's like hooked up, so you can you can talk to them and shit, but. Ooh. I didn't really get over that. But how many bundles you were supposed to break open the machine and get the card? Clearly! Clearly I was supposed to break open the machine and get the card. Oh yeah, that was one thing she was telling me not to break open the machine, but she was like, oh, if you press like the star sign or whatever, it's supposed to eject the card back out. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, if you enter the pin backwards or whatever, and I'm like, you don't even know the pin. What do, what do you mean, enter the pin backwards? Lucy and they were the dollars. Ah, the benefit of working early in life? Mama Ken, how many times had she done the- What do you mean? <laughs> urban legend, urban legend, I guess. Yeah, what if your pin is sequential? That's a great question. I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls, the ceilings. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control and track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. But I'm a bit of a hurt. I'm in a bit of a hurly. Fuck! I'll take lemon thing in front doors. Good night. Time for bed so I can do good at work. Would leave stream on the TV, but I don't think this is the best time to sleep, so back to South Park. <gasps> what do you mean? <laughs> oh well, I hope you enjoy South Park. Sleep well. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. Hmm. Hmm. Look at them no demons. I walk past the kitchen on my way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there is a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure that... I break into a run and dash toward the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? Oh, does anybody else do this? Sometimes you just get bad vibes and you have to sprint to your next location, you know? 
Or if you're or if you're sitting on the couch and you get the bad vibes and you just sit there paralyzed. I wave my hands around as I turn, trying to tease away my annoying pursuers. But then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door now. If there's no- uh, if there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No, 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 I don't want that! What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. Hmm. Oh, it's animated. Break the door. Mm. As I expected, there was no living corpses inside. But there was a bag of milk I bought today, sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes. I stare back. Nothing happens. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether or not it's on the shelf in a store or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from its safest place in the world and into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk toward my room through a narrow corridor. I meet a familiar, formless creature at the door. It locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws. Bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. <gasps> like a velociraptor claw. Again? I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. The creature squeezes my hand until my veins start bulging. And I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. <laughs> I've promised so many times. Stay put. The moment it says that, its claw pierces my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. But then, then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. A white veil appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time, but... Why do I feel so hot? I feel my bot- uh, wait. Is it- is it- The higher pitched voice is hers, and then the more distorted, deeper one is her mom, maybe? The fuck did she give you? I don't know. Is some sort of injectable med? Take your mage. Crowling in my skin. I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell. While my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me. Kill me. Hysterical screams resound through the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I try to imprint where every drop fell in my memory, so I can gather them all later. I need to remember. I need... A new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. Say it! I'll never drink milk ever again! I... Say it! I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again! Maybe I should do... Ah. Ah. Maybe I should do... Hold on. The robot, not the... Not the hard tune. I was mixing them up. 
I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again! You think I'm gonna need more wine for this stream? Mm. An allergic reaction. Oh! Maybe, maybe she had an allergic reaction? And was going... Is it called anaphylactic shock? And, and her mom was... Using an EpiPen? Milk allergy? And that was an EpiPen, huh? Ah! Shoulder can dripping. I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. I've washed my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yet, I get how you feel. And there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. I would have been so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slipped away. As if somebody fished them out of my head, one after another, one after another, until nothing was left. And now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. She enjoys sleeping and she has good dreams? I know, I don't get it. Although it seems like even if she had a nightmare, it'd still be more pleasant than her reality. After finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately since I always swallow them as a bunch without thinking. Now I want to have a better look at it, to twirl it between my fingers, to chew on it. I'd do anything to stall for just a little bit more time. A smooth, protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent film. But I can still discern its contents. So what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours out. Filthy, filthy. The pill flies straight into the waste bin, and I start rigorously washing my hands. There's no way I'm drinking that! Next was a flat pill of the same blood red color. There were some letters printed out on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy. But it's not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no! I don't even want to look at it! The pill flies into the waste bin as well. Oh my god! Like, hit YouTuber dream? The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides, and then I find a reason not to swallow it. I invent my own medicine instead and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healing effects. Hey, my neck isn't hurt anymore. Hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple! I need to brag about it to someone right away! But not to my mom. She'll just scold me. And she's sure I'm already sleeping anyway. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something myself. Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder, who's going to be my conversation partner? Well, I'd say go on Omegle, but that's dead now. Rest in peace. Meds hate! Meds hate! Um... Hey. Well, well, really echoey. Wait, what is this? Hold on. Ha! Ah, yeah! There we go. <laughs> hey. Getting docked by a stranger on Omega. Oh, it's us the player! Real voice? I, I hate that you guys had to find out, find out like this, but it's true. This is my real voice. I smoke five Marlboros a day. I know. I actually use an AI voice software. So I can sound... Like, like a woman who doesn't smoke. Or doesn't smoke as much, at least. Yeah. 
Only five? Okay, um, okay, I chain, I, I chain smoke five a day. I chain smoke five a day, goddammit. Hippa, I am. True. Lattice? No. My name's... What's a chain smoker name? My name's Destiny... Destiny... Um... Lovesmith. In my early years, I was a, I was, a, I was an escort in Hollywood, but like, not like a sex escort, but like, like I escorted people around Hollywood to the sex workers. I was a pimp. Yeah. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with this. Ah! What the fuck? I, I, I'm finding all the options. Hold on. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Sure you did. What do you mean, sure you did? You don't believe me? You don't fucking believe me? Well, no one's gonna believe you when I when I kill you and hide your corpse, and then 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 they're gonna be like, oh, they 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 were murdered, and 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 I don't know. That whole thing. You sound like a P1 battle droid. You get lost too easily. What do you mean? Listen, I'm very competent. All right, I'm very competent. Leave me alone. Roger, Roger. Who's the only one? Do you have a favorite flavor of Juggalo juice? The only Fago I've bought has been expired, so no. Is there a thing in Dolores? Yeah, we already know you're an AI. It's true, I'm an AI. <laughs> That's my AI sniffle. That's me snorting lines of data. Hey, long time no see. It hasn't even been an hour. Oh. It hasn't even been an hour, dummy. You know, we're only supposed to meet once per day, right? Ah. <sighs> The voices in our head are our friends! Um... It hasn't even been an hour! There you go, bullying me again. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit? No. I'm pretty exhausted after today. Well, I guess you are too. That's not true. You need to go to bed. Oh, you've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now. All right. I'll just stay silent until the medicine's effect wears off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you. At all. Hmm? I'm so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything. And you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. Seven a manic episode, boys. Huh, <laughs> I can imagine how angry you are right now. Yeah, I'm all beside myself. What made you so happy all of a sudden? Why is she so happy, bro? And why would I be sad? Remember yourself a couple hours ago? I don't know what you mean. Stop lying, stop lying, stop lying. Uh-uh, I still don't understand. Whatever, unlike you, I won't forget that pathetic snotty girl for a long time. She just whines and whines all the time. Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, all right? So you're the one calling the shots now. Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see. Yeah. Uh... I... Am I really that pathetic? Mm. Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. But not unexpected. <laughs> Fucking women leaving them alone for two seconds, they start bawling. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face, then we'll decide what to do with you. Oh my god! I'm a tard wrangler. What is, what, what is that? What is this out here? Oh wait. Oh, is this herself? 
Then this is the mirror with the reflection. Answered woman tears joke. Yeah, this is all. I'm actually I'm breaking I'm breaking company rules here. I'm linking a member of Gen Three right now. <laughs> I'm in front of a mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery looks the walls are giving me. Trying not to drown in their giggling. But then, me in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile, bares her teeth at me. I shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. I start counting in my mind. Two squared, two by squared, a square squared, a square pyramid squared, a pyramidal structure cubed, a pyramidal structure hypercubed. I feel better, but my head is splitting apart now. How do you feel? Sorry for being rude. You're mocking me, right? I'm obligated to ask you this at least a couple of times per session, if you say so. A session, huh? You don't like that word? I'm fine. No, you're not. I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. Therapist Opa. Sideways-ing but more schizo game made by schizo. I don't know, seems like it anyways. What is it though, actually? As pretentious emo as it seems, it looks really neat. Hmm. Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? Undoubtedly. Whatever it was, it was your decision. Does it even matter? Yes, no, and what do you think? I can't be sure about anything. And you don't take me seriously anyway. Then why did you do that? I felt like I'd be able to find it on my own. It's true, the pain subsided for a bit at that time, but now I feel triple in force. It hurts so bad. Just drink your water already, or I'll stop talking to you. You know what to do. A decision to control or something. Should we be- should we be being nice to her? Maybe we should save. Can we save? Yeah, let's save. And then I wonder if we can be assholes to her and just pick up where we left off. One? Oh, don't abandon me! Hmm. Hmm. Dejected, I reach out for the shelf with my medicine. I swallow the pills, one after another. Chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of coagulated blood and transparent coating travel down my esoph ugh, esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. Chad, are you enjoying the game so far? I hate the word esophagus. Esophagus is a weird word. It feels like it's trying to have a C in it. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it with my mouth. Oh, talented. Eh? Yeah? It's pretty neat. This is boring. Well, then click off, idiot! We're all supposed to say yes, Pippa. Whatever you play, Pippa, is very fun, Pippa. Her bangs are too short. I lie on the floor. I look up at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the middle pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. <gasps> She's gonna kill herself like her dad killed himself! That's many than thing, Manolis. This game has several endings. Some of them are hard to find without using a guide. Really? Wait, this one has several endings? Do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough of talking. I bet this is a really weird autobiography. Well, it's Chat's autobiography, so I don't know what to tell you. What do you want, then? 
Oh. Did you show me anything about Boris? Considering... I consider it one of the best written games ever played. I'd say I'm enjoying it. Even if I'm playing Half-Life while I watch. What? You're multitasking? Yeah, I meant to mute while I sniffled, but I forgot I have to hold the button down. Nah. Hi. Build those wagons and come with me. Is this what it's like to have a tulpa? <laughs> it's fine, sniffles are okay. Sniffles are annoying! I... I just want to lie down for a bit. I bet every computer task is a multitask. What do you mean? Even if the ceiling is bound to collapse, it won't be today. Can you stay silent, please? I need to get my thoughts in order. Vash, thank you for the one dollar. I'm guessing VTubers in Discord while I watch you? Oh, you're grooming VTubers in Discord! Oh, have fun with that. I'll collect things in dollars. I'd call... You a lot of things, but boring and wonder. I'm more dang. You wish I were dying. I'm less being a mess, Pippa. You took the anti mold pills, right? Yes. Makes my lung hurt. You're full of single fun doors. Now, now, Pippa doesn't need to hear all this. She's a highly trained professional. What do you mean? You think of I'm telling all y'all, Pippa Topa will be the best Topa. Pippa Topa is going to make you shoot up a Walmart. Sideways, single fun doors. Multitasking, playing the Crew Motor Fest at the moment. The Crew Motor Fest? What is that? I'm going to look into the game and listen along. Do you first play through naturally and the rest later? I don't think it's gonna be me. Game seems kind of mid, but the rabbit in the corner is pretty cool. It's... I carefully extract my thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's my corkboard. Oh. Is this her sink? Does she have a sink in her bedroom? Or is she laying. On the bathroom floor. Oh. When you guys get fevers and stuff, do you guys ever just go and lay on, like, the bathroom floor because it's nice and cold? In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another. Pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off with my hand, annoyed, and start over. No? You run a cold bath. But then you're wet! I can't do it. You always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. Ew, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. Water's wet. Ugh. Terrible. <gasps> this is that Owl City song! I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts. They're fireflies now. Start whirling all over the ceiling of their own accord, forming whism whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. Hmm. 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 It's just... That moment doesn't come. Hmm. 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 The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling makes me start losing my patience. Hmm. Hmm. Enough! I hate you! That's fucking rude. Saying that to a fucking firefly? What the fuck do firefly do to you? They're cute. They're cute. I saw the fi a firefly for the first time, like, last year. It's interesting. It's only when they fly, they light up. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job. Now start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you? Should it? No? Yes? We make her crazier! A lot of people act like this. Yes, yeah, schizophrenics. Really? There's nothing shameful about snapping at someone, if you have a reason for that. You did have a reason, didn't you? Uh... You'll surely get better. Believe me. And now... Start over. Hmm. <laughs> You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. 
I'm having a hard time without your help. <gasps> she needs us! Sounds like I'm with a large side pepper. I'm always doing my laser projects when I watch your stream. It's a habit now. <gasps> I hear my feet rap and I start getting super productive. Hell yeah, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you, man. Good job, good job. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. I forget about them and go to bed. Hmm. Yeah, go find the fireflies! Go insane finding the fireflies! I glance around the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as a firefly to hide here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly, I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop bullying me! You promised to talk to me! What were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. That's the thing. I have no idea. This is... weird. Hmm. Chad, I can fix her. Good luck, Ryos! There's no fixing a woman with this short of bangs! It's fucking over. Will you tell me? Die. Is this a bed? That was me! You're choking her? You're choking her to fix her? What the fuck? I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They're so itchy. Why... oh... Why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. Did you drink milk? Did he bring milk? Did her dad used to bring home the milk? And now she has to bring home the milk? And that's part of... Which triggering her? I wonder if I tear around all my eyelashes one after another. Will my eyes stop itching? No, because then your eyebrow hair will fall in there. You'd have to pull those out. I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another. All my eyelashes one after another. If I tear out all my eyelashes one after another. What have you done? I need to gather the glass and then... Then I need to have a bath. And then... Is her mom... Reaching out to her right now? Here. Drink some milk. First death, I died and felt something achievement. What the fuck? I stand in the middle of the room, my mouth agape, grasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was surely something. Will you tell me or not? About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And then I'll go to bed. And then after I go to bed, I'll go to bed. Spider Fox is gonna be eating the bowl. Hope you're enjoying the milk. Mixed opinions so far. Mixed opinions. And my thoughts are hiding from me. Hmm? To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 and no! If I make even the smallest of messes here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their places, and that's it. Why? Mmm. Mmm. Are you trying to come up with a reason right now? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Do we let her stew in our crazy chat? One or two, do we let her stew in our crazy? The door is open. Yeah, the door to the balcony is open. One? <sighs> wow, 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 wow. Well, you don't have to bark at me. Who? Me? No, of course not. I think you forgot to put your mind block. I can see through you. Rude. Alright then. So we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch? Yeah. 
My, oh my. Hmm. I have an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point-and-click adventure game character. You know, those games have moments when you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun! And what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? That would make it even more interesting! This is so childish. And wanna know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it! No, no. No, oh, yes! I start panicking as soon as I get in the multiple choice situation. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. You've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road? Do what you want. Choices? Choices, chat! Her bangs are short, that's what I'm saying. Enabler. In all ones. You guys even care or are you just typing one for everything? Come on, don't be so boring. I was just teasing you. You don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for help is a reasonable decision too. Let's begin already. I go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from underneath my sweater. Wowee! Wowee! There's smoke coming from your clothes. Huh? <laughs> Whatever. What? 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 I carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it were in order, the firefly slowly drifts up. Circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. <laughs> it tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. The cigarette? Daydreams. Oh. It actually has become a point-click adventure. But we can't click the door! Oh, I clicked on the fan. Huh? <laughs> What's funny about that? I imagined myself being a firefly that is looking straight at a giant fan. And? I'd be so jealous! The only thing preventing it from flying is a cage it's locked in, and the cable. It's like an inmate if you think about it. It's so sad. Yeah. Let's continue searching. Is this game just saying everything that pops into your mind? Is that what this is? Oh, this radio station sucks. I'm grooving! Is this, a, is this a speech or a song? I can't tell. <laughs> is this... Is this, is this a speech or a song? I don't know what that is either. And now it's quiet. Ah! Oh, she's lazy. She doesn't want to clean up her mess. Is there anything, like, really strange? What about the bed? It's not easy to get out of here. <laughs> the lights? Are you serious? What's wrong? Just think about it. Why would fireflies be attracted to light? I think they're quite self-sufficient already in that regard. <laughs> well, only if they purposely want to lower their self-esteem. Hmm. I look.
look up toward a very high place on my ceiling. I can hear a countless number of small legs marching inside the AC unit. Oh well. What happened? Fireflies can't be friends with cockroaches. We better look somewhere else. Why would cockroaches be there? Have you forgotten? You were the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yeah, but... They became fireflies afterwards, but cockroaches don't disappear just like that. So they occupy this place. Do you understand now? I do, I don't. I'll pretend I do. I doubt you're crazy, bitch! You do something, think, my boys. The game is using mundane objects and occurrences to make you live inside her mind. You may not understand it, but you know where she's coming from. Hmm. And what are those? Ah, huh, those. Those are the photos of my best memories! But they're blank. I stared at them so intensely that I burned them with my eyes! <laughs> now they're just covering the cracks in the walls. Cracks? Forget it! Are we continuing the search or what? Okay, we are. What are those? The clock? Oh, another radio. One, two, three. Why does she have three radios? This one gets better stations. Why not? Oh. What use do you have for two radios? Got a remix of the fly. For surround sound! Ah, that checks out, alright. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I look at the alarm clock. Time continues its unstoppable flow. It's so late. Oh, it's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. I let out a theatric yawn and hold out my arms to the sides. One, two. Then I raise them above my head. Three, four. Maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Good idea! Do you remember the exercises you've been taught? I think so. I take a hesitant stance. What was it? Heels together? Toes apart? Whatever, I'll go with that. Count down five minutes. Fine, you have a clock right in front of you though. I can't look at its hands for too long. At first I feel like they start moving in the wrong direction, and then they disappear altogether. <laughs> and then things always get messy. Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face. And also, I used to hear voices back in the day. They pleaded for help, I think. What a mess. Truly a mess. It was a mess, right? A mess! Well, are you counting down? My god, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for half an hour. Huh? Forget it, do you see the firefly? N no. Let's continue searching then. Clock wants her to do time trials. Oh no! Hmm. Right. Insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I guess. I get close to the flower shelf. I sniff around. The leaves smell of dust and cardboard. And death. You know those plants are long dead, right? I'm not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insects. We kind of don't have a choice here, you know. Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just throw them out? Aren't you listening to me at all? Mm. <laughs> Fellas, this point-and-click adventure game kind of sucks. I don't get to combine any objects or anything. Where are the puzzles? I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging under the ceiling, at least 300 feet off the floor. Are you joking? Even though it's my room, not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. Like, totally. And I'm definitely not worried. Not even the littlest bit! Not even a smidgen of the littlest bit! Not even for a thousandth of a percent! That's how much I don't care! Hmm. Hey! I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care! From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. 
Oh, no, you don't. Then act normal. <laughs> the puzzle is figuring out why you are playing this game. Now. Your usual notebook paper glued to the walls with the duct tape. Oh, why did I add extra words? Numbers are drawn on them. It's the only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Dosage and side effects? Yeah. Oh, I thought you knew them by heart. Yeah. Hmm. This is not your handwriting, isn't it? Hmm. Of course it's not. Shaky broken lines, ugly numbers, it's not writing, it's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. My screen makes the pages rustle restlessly. After a moment, a firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around in a business-like manner, it takes off into a business-like flight and ends up entering my business-like ear. Hey! Let's continue searching. I turn my eye towards an inconspicuous shelf near the mirror. There's a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it, and a small towel is hanging nearby. What a wonderful sight. My fireflies are smart and good. They would never get in there. They know about personal hygiene. Okay, let's look somewhere else. Then what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this then, you liar? That was so businesslike. It was, wasn't it? I look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. A bizarre item. I fear it. Why? It's a long and boring story. Wonderful. Tell me about it. Hmm. I insist! I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably bought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it, and on the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I've spent my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering, calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did before entering the web. Hmm? Imagine this. You're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living. Did you imagine? As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagined. Alright, so you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living, okay? Okay. Wonderful, and here's the situation. You're a hamster that lives. Okay, I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Mm, yeah. Fine, you'll end up returning to that subject anyway. On one wonderful day, someone takes you up from your hamster house and brings you to the pet store. Now your new home is a cage. It's way more comfortable and warm compared to the underground. And the most important part, you have a lot of neighbors here. Their cages are identical to yours and the other hamsters look identical to you too. That means you are all the same. Apart from the fact that they were born at that shop, they'll always ask, what does that indicate? And I'll tell you, nothing at all. I forget what I was talking about. Gosh. Okay, let's start over. This time, try to avoid that stupid, ham stupid hamster analogy. You know I'm not at fault here. So. I had a lot of friends online. Hence, hundreds of them. Impossible to count. Is it impossible though? I had exactly 317 of them. Although, I guess nobody counts the exact number of hamsters when they walk into a pet shop. Hey, don't get distracted. Oh, right. From my 317 friends, 68 were into gaming just like me. 130 of them liked drawing just like me. The remaining 119 were into calculators and 3D modeling equally. And when I say equally, I don't mean 59 and a half friends on each side. Alright? You can split numbers evenly, no problem, but math doesn't work like that when it comes to friends. A major conundrum, right? Get to the point. I know, of course, that no real people exist on the web. I also understood that all my friends died the moment I turned off my laptop. But I still wasn't even a bit worried. Why? Do you know what computer programs consist of? It's just a combination of numbers. Which means my friends are also numbers. Isn't that amusing? Not really. 
Why do you call them your friends? I mean, everyone who shares my interests is my friend, and I don't care whether they know about my existence or not. Anyways, as I was saying, every program has its own algorithm and purpose. It's a mathematical formula. And if you solve that formula, you'll be able to predict the program's behavior at any moment. The longer you speak, the less I follow. You don't need to follow me around, just listen. I sit on the floor and the laptop screen ends up right in front of me. The only thing reflected in it is my dim face. A web person is just a random picture and a random string of letters, words, and actions from the web person are just executable code. <sighs> hey, let me know if you need a break. Hmm. One day, someone appeared. From that point on, my, mo my laptop was always on. There are no real people on the web, but he was good at pretending. At some moment, I let him trick me. Hey, look. Huh. Suddenly, a firefly slowly crawls out of the laptop's event grill. I reach for it. It gets on top of my palm, blinking all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I can see that for myself. If only I knew what. Looks like a cipher. Do you want to crack at it? It's speaking in binary! I changed my mind. I have no, absolutely no desire to find out what it wants to say. The firefly stops glowing for a moment after that. Then it starts glowing again, as if coming back to its senses. For some time, it thinks about the further course of actions, then flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. And what about your story? Yeah. You must be mad at me for interrupting you. I'm sorry. Hmm. If you do everything right, I'll finish my story, maybe. Do you promise? I promise. And if you forget? Then remind me. There's a code word, for example. Oh, achievement. Please forget it, because I won't. What code word? I'll think of one later. And for now, let's keep searching for my fireflies. Dr. Minx, you think my doors were all real, Pippa! We love you! Even though you guys are numbers? Hmm. Hmm. Did she get catfished? Wound. Code word. Tip of the Ripper. Did she give us a code? I don't think she did. Maybe the code is just code. Yeah, but she's a Homestuck fan! Get out while you can! Oh god. Boring interpretation? I don't know. She got doxxed. You think that's what it was? Well, they won't get anything, Word Lawyers. I'm not real. Take your meds, people. What do you think then? What do you think happened to her, chat? Oh, this is really small. What's this? I don't know. What is it? A card? Was it a card? A stalker. Ah, she met a games journalist. Gross. I look down. My school bag, worn down and silly, is almost screaming of its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly. Its contents are also regurgitating, decomposing, and turning into a sticky, mushy substance. What a cool image! I need to remember this. Totally not cool. Totally not cool, senseless, and cruel. You were there, but I don't care. Is it me you're laughing at? What? I'd never. After all, you're not my pet. <laughs> I'm not going along with this nonsense anymore. Got it? Got it. Hey, it wasn't on purpose this time. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special. Mostly just all sorts of books. I've taken out all the pens and notebook out of there, and I'm not interested in anything else. Hmm. You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? I hope this is- I hope she's speaking in code and by had a blast all the way, she actually fucking shot them up. And even the ignores. Numbers. Or phaser thing with a 690. Hello, I'm a number. And I'm here to say... Are you sure you understood my- Oh, are you sure you understood my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're wrong! Alright, alright. What did you like most there? Hmm. Well, the rooms were really bright. Not like at home. And that's it? Don't rush me. Let me remember. Well, the beds were also soft and the food was nice. The beds? The beds? What do you mean, the beds? 
boarding school? Huh? By the way, I attended all the classes. The others always skipped. They probably got told off so hard. I smiled gently, absorbed in warm memories. You never graduated, though. Yeah. Do you remember your last day there? Hmm. It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm already too old for the school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, the tasks were way too easy. Then we got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there, we had dinner and went to our rooms. And what happened then? I guess that day has absolutely no special meaning for you. What the fuck's name with Have you watched Drop Dead Fred? It's literally you and chat. Drop Dead Fred? You mean the movie with the crazy guy that like tapes hot dogs to his fingers and plays the piano or whatever? I don't remember. It doesn't even matter. Okay. Tell me about it again. Is your memory that bad? Oh, that's Freddy Got Fingered. Oh, okay. What's Drop Dead Fred? There's too many people named Fred, chat! Please. No, oh, fine. That day, Dad picked me up from school earlier, explaining to me that I need to grow up. It's not like I could completely grasp what he meant. Either way, I didn't resist. We got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner together and went to our separate rooms. Satisfied? Did she go to crazy person school and her dad got annoyed and he and he pulled her out of school and was like, Grow up. You need to grow out of this crazy phase. And... Maybe, maybe her dad couldn't cope with having a schizo daughter. And felt like a failure as a parent, so he killed himself. Maybe? She was behind in grades. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Dad dragged me out of the school building while I was scratching and biting. The teachers didn't interfere. The scene was ordinary for them. Who knows what the little brat has done. Then he pushed me into the car and we drove home in complete silence. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner together and went to our separate rooms. Please, let's not discuss this further. No, you'll tell me again. Mm. Mm. Dad bought milk on her way home. Again. I hate milk so much. Mom was not home. Again. I hate mom so much. What happened next? Suddenly, I feel someone's eyes on my back. Knowing that these moments should never be ignored, I turn around. But there's nothing there. What happened next? Well, you're annoying. Try figuring this one out, Achievement. Everything that happened next happened after something that led to everything that happened after what had happened. I look at my bag again, light pouring into the room through the window glints on the metal parts. And there's also a shadow underneath it, which means it's real, sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyway. I almost end up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger, but I manage to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move it even an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. It has already happened countless times. What do you mean you'll go blind? I've spent months memorizing the location of every item in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You won't get it. Look at your feet. I look down and see that a small insect is crawling toward me from my bag. It's barely glowing and it can't even fly. I guess this firefly is really tired. I bend down to pick it up. The firefly starts glowing brightly as soon as I touch it, and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies toward me with high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to enter my ear. And that's exactly what happens. After it gets inside, it buzzes for a little while, and then goes silent. This one is kind of sad. I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's no longer alone. Sure. Let's continue searching. Oh, we can just call it? But there's things left to be explored. What do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to keep exploring? 
Do you want to keep exploring? Or do you want to... Hmm... Let me an Azure, thank you for two dollars. It's a lot better help out on one of your streams, lol. Ew! Keep going? Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I doubt it. All the compartments are locked. What if? I don't even want to think about what's inside. Who knows what I'll end up imagining. Huh? <laughs> this is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation to spend a minute or two inside. They'd want to dig deep into it with a couple of favorite items, close their eyes, and then... Hey, did you fall asleep? Huh? I gently slap my cheeks to return to my senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be sleeping like a log at this time, but right now I can't. Let's continue searching. Hey, maybe we'll find something inside? Nah, my thoughts don't have a feature of putting them to sleep. Quite the contrary, they always cause insomnia, just like tonight. Okay. Is he on the A bird crapped on my car right after I washed it today. Lick it off. <laughs> Did you gag just now? Did you feel sick? I look at the mound of pills and it makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pippa. Gotta keep the guys on your toes. What's wrong? I've almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless. I could have died. Hey, calm down. You've already fixed that. You'll ultimately die anyway, so why worry? Kill yourself now. Oh, you're right. Mm. I heave a deep sigh. Come closer and extend my hand. Wow, it's warm! The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturns. The pills rain down from it, and along with them... A firefly! Hooray! After circling above my head a couple of times, it finally lands in my palm. The firefly rushes up my arm, and upon reaching my soldier... Shoulder! 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 Ah. Ah. got struck for that, did she? Today? Shut up, chat. I can speak English good. Reaching my shoulder. Crawls straight into my ear. My mind becomes a bit clearer. Now I have to over enunciate to compensate. Oh, I'm thing, Rundler. Speaking of seeing ads, I've started seeing these ads on YouTube. Tell me where can I get some Pippa Pops. Pippa Pops? We got banned. Wait, she's banned? We got banned? Huh? On YouTube or on Twitter? Are you guys messing with me? Too many Dizzy ads? Is Dizzy running lots of ads? Oh, just stream got taken down. Oh, okay, okay. Hope she's alright. Okay, as long as it was, like, just the stream. I mean, it's not good for the stream to get taken down, but, like... It's, it's a much preferable alternative to her, her channel getting banned. You said banned, and I got very concerned. Have we just about explored everything except for the trash pile? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, the garbage can. I get close to the waste bin and look inside with curiosity. Pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage. Boring. There's nothing here. Indeed, no self-respecting firefly would hide in a heap of garbage. Can't disagree with you here. Is that it? What if we turn on all the radios? We can't. Ah! Good song! Never mind, I hate the song. I don't like this one either. This is a fucking symphony with a garbage truck going by. Maybe it's muffled speaking. I think it's speaking, isn't it? I think
think it's music and then they're speaking. It's muffled. I don't bother thinking about lawyers. Imagine having a stream taken down for a community violation. Ha! Could be me! <laughs> no play. I managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's just going back to the starting point. No changes at all. Zero sum. And happiness is always about being positive, right? You shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? Well, go to the balcony. Breathe in some air. Somehow those words triggered a panic attack in me. I subconsciously step away from the balcony. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? This may sound silly, but... I feel like someone is watching me. Alright, let's stay here. There's no way somebody cares about you that much. For a couple of minutes, okay? Kill! Uh, kill is a show. Oh. Now you've got me on edge! Now you got me on edge! My apartment building looks like a bottomless cooking pot. But instead of suit, it has hundreds of concrete and metal boxes on its walls. There are lights on in the windows. There are muffled voices coming from the inside. The howling wind spirals up and splits into hundreds of independent streams. It seems like it wants to be heard by every person living here. It must feel so lonely, living in endless silence. Your apartment building is pretty weird, isn't it? And I could see the horizon from my window before. And the building grew for miles in both directions. I guess at some point it circled around and closed in on itself. Nothing unusual about that. Huh. Oh, how do you feel? I definitely feel. Sometimes it's more than enough. Still, you're anxious, aren't you? Of course. Moreover, I'm completely terrified. Was it that obvious? You're looking in every direction, but not up. Ah, uh, this. I've already told you, haven't I? About what? About, you know, small stuff. Can small stuff make you terrified? It's hard to explain. It's the- oh yeah, you're right, chat. Oh. I climb up the metal railing and let my legs hang down. I sneak short glances at the abyss from time to time. It replies with angry, cold breath. That's how we interact, like old friends. Sometimes I feel like the whole world pretends to be crazy. As if it's trying to make me believe in something that doesn't exist. That's weird, isn't it? Yes, but... At the same time, it makes me feel a little happy. Everything around me was created for my sake, to deceive, trick, and confuse me. If that's true, well, I guess I'm not so crazy myself after all. You believing in this is the definition of craziness. You're probably right. Another gust of wind blasts against the pod's walls, smashing the glass to dust and blows away the concrete crust. I, on the other hand, feel a gentle breeze that only ruffles my hair. I still haven't come up with a code word. You were the one to remember your promise. You don't need a code word anymore. I don't like when this happens. I want to remember certain things only when I want to. Nonetheless, you've made- oh. Nonetheless, you've made that promise. And I'll keep it, but you need to keep in mind that from this moment on, every word will bring me pain. I bend down and imagine falling into the abyss. I have exactly two minutes before I meet my end. Two minutes? Two minutes? Just how high up is your apartment building? Is that a fucking, uh, Bojack Horseman reference? I had a friend online. My best friend. Even though the combination of letters he used instead of his name wasn't that cool. Well, the combination of pixels he had instead of his photos was also boring and unattractive. This is so strange and wrong, breaking the rules of being online. Why was he doing that? Maybe his code was a few lines short. I don't quite get what you mean. I could tell you about those rules. 
You can't find them anywhere, but I'm smart, so I figured them out myself. Although, I'm not sure if I should divulge them. Why? When I try to say what I think out loud, I tend to make mistakes. If I make just a single one, everything that comes after contradicts my thoughts. And I end up with the opposite position. And I don't want that. According to that logic, it'd be better for you to keep your mouth shut forever. Yep, that's my dream. Keep my mouth shut, never get up from bed, never see or hear anything. Just dream on and on. Oh, why is everything so terrible? Don't get distracted. So what was that about your friend? My friend? Oh, yeah. He... he was brazen enough to... Come on, gather your thoughts. Oh. He somehow made me believe that he was real. He kept describing someone else's life to me in detail as if it was him. And he expected me to do the same. And then I told him everything about myself without hiding a single thing. I grip my teeth, the wind whips my face without mercy. It slices my skin into uneven stripes, as if it's a piece of thin cloth. He knew more about me than anybody else in the world. You know what he did? Yes. <laughs> Sending an army of bots to harass me was probably fun. And what's most important, it was a win-win situation. They spawn here and there, simple bits of comb that are effortless to run. No wonder the algorithm assigns that pattern more often than the others from the list. Did she get raided? Did she get docs? Text and video generators get to work at the same time. My name surfaces on the web more and more. It's unbearable. Unbearable. From every... From around every corner, every balcony, ceiling, attic wall, I always feel many pairs of watchful eyes directed at me. And now they watch me from the screen still. But I'll put an end to it. I've decided a long time ago. Though, maybe I only decided that only... My body finally crashes into the ground, smashing into millions of tiny pieces like porcelain. Oh, second death. I died again and felt nothing achievement. It's my second death for today already. I'm cold. Let's go back inside. This is what happens when you don't take your pills. I returned to my room. Thankfully, it hasn't changed one bit during the minutes I was outside. Without a second thought, I go toward my laptop and yank the power cable from the outlet. That's it. That's it. That's it. What are you going to do? What's with the silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. Imagining myself to be outside of my mortal shell, but at the same time still being me. Ridiculous like milk outside a bag of milk, and yet... And yet... You don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill. Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow. And never ever. That's a goodbye then? Hmm. No. I have one more small favor to ask. A really, really small one. What is it? Oh. Ah! I started messing up the reverb. I blurted out my way too much today. Oh, I blurted out way too much today. A lot of stuff I'd want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No, I wouldn't be able to sleep like this. Fine, what's the favor? I, um... I nervously scratch my wrists and bite on my lower lip. Wait a minute, you're afraid to tell me? Yeah. I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop it, I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. No, you! Well, I think, my Lawrence, if that's the case, I want to dream and die over and over. Also, this isn't the last of my money, I'm just in debt. What? I can go in and sing without ten more of your voice, and way of reading these types of games is very nice and smooth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I crawl into my sleeping bag. The lower part of my room is very cold. I hurry... is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in blankets. 
Even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know. It was a joke. Well, anyway. I washed my face, brushed my teeth, lied down, and started imagining that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course. I always looked sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Letters floating in the air, strange silhouettes that appeared in the most unexpected of places. Holding eyes with trembling pale pupils. It was scary, you know. Oh! Oh, I get I get the numbers! If I don't get enough sleep, I start seeing numbers. Then one day, I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while. And then, silhouettes, letters, and eyes were hanging over me and hissing. It was horrible. And well-deserved, I guess. It felt like I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yeah, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But then the silhouettes, letters, and eyes stayed here. I guess they like this place. They always follow me in my way, keeping at me, and I'm kind of scared of them, and I can't even argue with them. But, today, today, well, I, still too scared to tell me? Of course, they're still listening, you know. Oh, use your hands. Alright. I start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm. Forming complex shapes. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shh. And I was trying so hard here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax, nobody can hear you. Hmm. So, what do you say? I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just... Talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly. But it's not. And meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. Hmm. Fine. Close your eyes. You won't get it. You're not even trying, Achievement. How long is this game? I would have installed it without thinking. I wake up on a wooden bench. In front of me lies a narrow, dimly lit alley. An awfully familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Two hours? Hmm, okay. Finally. I hear a voice coming from the side. I turn around and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. Ah, uh, you're late. <laughs> um, who are you? The boy blinks in bewilderment. You're not going anywhere like this. Try again. Then he takes a very deep breath. You are late. I stare at him, confused. He stares back, also confused. S sorry The boy nods, satisfied. See? Much better. Do you have a name? My name's Tresca. I give the brat an evaluating look. He's so young, yet already coming at me with questions like that. None of your business! And besides, will anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. It's not like there's somebody else here besides me. Tesco, not Tesco, chat. Shut the fuck up. Haven't they told you anything? I know all there is to know, for one. About what? You're obligated to escort me to the store. Tesco says that and strikes a victory pose. No way I'm doing that. You do understand that refusal is futile. Well, aren't you full of yourself? I'm serious. I'm not the one who decided that. Do you think I'm delighted with your company? 
He's weird, constantly shifting between happiness, sadness, loudness, and silence. He's a wacko, and his name is stupid. Are we going, or what? You can go, and I need to think. I'd be happy to, but I don't know the way. Tresca puts on a cunning smile. I bite my lower lip in frustration. I'll be honest with you, I don't like you. He simply bursts out laughing in reply. I do like you, though. Then he grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have enough time to retort. Lead the way. He doesn't know the way. I do know the way. They both look about the same age. Why is she so arrogant? Sounds like he's not taking his pills, too. Mmm, maybe, maybe. Our trip to the store went fine, if not for the fact that Tresca was walking way faster than me. And on the other hand, at times he stopped abruptly and went backwards, studying the ground underneath his feet. In the end, the trip took a lot longer than it should. something? Ta-da! Just reveal yourself! Chat. Grigori never did come back. Fellas. Fellas, I don't think Grigori made it out, bros. Victor, I don't know what that, what that means. Cyrillic is untranslatable. Never did. I never did. You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get it. Uh, no, they were the $10. Hey, Pippa, loving the visual novel stream so far. Become a huge fan, heck. I'm a whole air conditioner at this point. Keep it up. Hell yeah! There are people who don't remember Grigori. Man. <laughs> we'll make a little tombstone for him. After reaching the store's doors, we are greeted by a sign. We're closing in 20 minutes. <laughs> Who had the bright idea to indicate their working hours in this way? Why is, why is the water in my cup shaking? Last thing on one door, he got better and doesn't need to watch VTubers anymore. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Gregory's not dead. He's just... He just got better. Yeah, he got filtered. It's fine. They probably have special staff for this. Someone who runs to change the sign every five minutes. It's inconvenient. Or, it's convenient. Oh wait, that was him speaking, I think. Are you joking? Yeah. You're so annoying. It's much better than being boring. How old are you, by the way? None of your business. Uh, uh, uh. And what's your name? None of your business! I was ready to slap the living hell out of the brat, but a scary-looking man suddenly appeared behind the glass. He's holding a cardboard sign that says we're closing in 15 minutes. Let's go, what are you waiting for? Oh, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, he totally, he totally didn't get drafted. Roy didn't get drafted. After another round of going across the long row of canned products, we realized that we're lost. I can't believe you don't know where they sell milk. I, um, maybe we should ask somebody for directions? Sure. Hey, wait up. Tresca, let's go. Oh. I, I, some kind of indicator as to who's talking would be very great. Thank you. Tresca, let's go with my hand and walks confidently toward one of the few store's customers. 
That person is standing with their back to us. Studying something on the shelf. No, can I... I can't hear neither the second part of his question nor the reply he gets. But my good-for-nothing friend freezes in place, looking the customer straight in the eye. I hurry toward him. This is kind of spooky art. Is he yours? The customer talks to me. He speaks with disgust while wearing a scornful expression. I, um... If he's yours, please get him away from me. Yes, I'm sorry. I grab Tresca's hand and lead him away. He's still looking at the customer, his mouth ajar and eyes popped. He's also shaking. Adults, am I right? Chocolate doors, they have different beeping sounds. Do they? I'm dumb. Only when we turn around the corner, Tresca calms down. What was that? Oh, they are different! I got so scared, he said. What? No, not again! Suddenly, Tresca starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning. He's crying. Can you act normal? Y you don't understand. Of course I don't. I don't understand anything. Annoying other people is still wrong, though. This is something you don't understand, it seems. You're mean. Who, me? Tresca pushes me away and runs off. Drat. At the edge of my vision, I see the store's staff hang a new sign on the door. There you are. I meet Tresca at the cash register. Before that, I managed to visit the milk department after finding out where it was. Hey, you move. I hear an angry voice coming from the other side of a long queue that has formed after Tresca. I squeeze through towards him. What happened? The boy doesn't respond. He just looks at his feet and sniffs. The cashier towers over him. There's a bag of milk lying between them. Is he yours? Yes. Just leave him home next time. People in the queue nod in agreement. Pay for the goods, please. Yes, of course. And the waiting fee. What? You heard me. I did, but that's unheard of. Triska starts giggling all of a sudden. And for the fact that your son is a retard, too. B but... You heard me. You know what? In a fit of rage, I throw a banknote at the cashier. Of much higher value than needed, even counting in all the stupid fees. Then grab a bag of milk and turn around on my heels. We're leaving, Tresca. A little bit young to be a mom, but I'm right. We spend the whole trip back in silence. At some point, we end up turning right toward the gas station. There, Tresca finally breaks the silence. Do you like ice cream? No. Okay. I look at the boy's face. A light flickers in his eyes for a brief moment and then goes out. You know. He turns away from the path and walks straight toward the highway with determination. I stare at his back, confused. He's gonna get eaten by a bear! It seems like you're not helping me at all. A new playful light flickers in Tresca's eyes. Huh? Sideways even though I'm starting to get a little too real right now. Big thing I'm gonna be suddenly is Lonsky. Got a couple billion. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple million I can borrow. <laughs> huh? Good night. And it says something in short like I I don't know what the X sounds like. Hmm. the milk? I think I got the milk. 
dreamt it was you. All right. Somebody in chat smarter than me explain what the fuck just happened. Young Queen and Gumpy Bee. That's what happens when you microdose with crocodile. They got crocodile in Russia? They were the dad all along. Nobody here is smarter than you, sorry. Yeah, it's true, my IQ is pretty up there. Got a good thing, I have no idea what's happening, but I hope you're having fun. That's where it's popular. Oh. It comes from Russia. <gasps> I thought it came from Florida. Russia's like Crocodile Central? Really? Maybe she had a little brother who died? I don't know. So... It's theory time! Okay. So... You're too loud. Hold on. There we go. Oh. Keep it warm, then come be You were the father comforting your daughter, and she finally saw things from your perspective and realized how she is. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Last creepy thing, one more. I don't know if this would be a good stream game, but this is reminds me of Chaos Ed, at least in Schizo Atmosphere. Hmm. Is that is that a theory? Or is that true? Is there a definitive explanation for this game? Dr. Binsky thing with the ten dollars. It's a Pipkin Mine simulator. It actually makes sense. Why does it say continue? I think we could pick up where we left off, maybe? Yeah, it's the last time we saved. Oh, fuck! Well, I guess now we're back here. But that's just a theory. It's game theory. I think it's meant to be interpretable. A game hypothesis? It loops. Um... Hmm. Maybe we should look up a guide for a different ending? Milk inside of a bag of milk inside of a bag of milk. Uh, uh, endings. The game contains no branching paths or other endings! What? Or is this a different game? What game is this? The names are too convoluted! Outside. Milk. Outside a bag of milk. Endings. Thank you. Not inside, outside. We're playing an outside game. Um. I just realized the alerts are behind the screen. Pop, 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 pop. I think I already read that. Did you show me thing with a final like, different ending to the one I got? I've uh, not fully worked out exactly what goes on, but that's the intent. That's intentional. Different routes disclose different details. I feel like, from what I've gathered, so she got bullied online. Maybe. I think she made a friend online and she was talking to him, and and then either like. She started getting bullied, and he assumed, or like she blamed him, or something like that. Yeah, she or she thought she was being targeted online. Not catfished and doxxed. But who even knows if that's true? He do Shelby thing with Dolores. The ending I got went into her dad a lot more. Hmm. Yeah, clearly she should have just called the bully hunters. That would have resolved all her problems. What a what a silly Billy. Um. So what ending did we get? We got. Yeah, what ending did I say we got? Um... 
I don't remember. Tresca ending. Shop ending. Okay, okay, so that's ending one. Shop ending... You didn't. Huh? 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 You did, don't get one guide. But I'm so good at getting one guide! It's the shop ending. Okay, yeah, I think... Okay, shop ending, that makes sense. Alright. Alright. So to get ending two, do not trigger the strangulation scene. Collect the milk challenge phone. What? What do these mean? What? What is milk? What? Oh, is the character's name milk Chan? Like, from, from the community? We like the strangulation scene. How do we avoid the strangulation scene? Yeah, we did we did- we did get the strangulation. Is there a way to speed through these? But then who was milk?! Is there a way to... Is this after the strangulation scene? That's an awesome community name. A kid named Milk. Milk at the milk store buying milk. Milk Jan buying a bag of milk to put her milk in. Milk's already in it. How do we... No? Okay. Mute. This is before. Okay. Okay. Alright. Well, we've heard all this. Milk Lou got here late. I'm at soup! What do you mean you're at soup? I don't know! I'm at soup! Why are you buying... Clothes at the soup store. I don't know. This is back where you can get any of them. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I remembered that all correctly. There's just more soup. <laughs> we just we just keep clicking the release. You don't have to yell at me. Should we save here? Go to the next aisle. I made soup yesterday. What kind of soup did you get? I like soup. One of, one of, one of the things that, you know, I, I, I can't watch Call Me Kevin anymore. You know, there's only so many times you can hear a man say he doesn't like soup before you're finally filtered. He goes on and on in his, in his streams and in his videos and he's like, I hate soup, it's the wettest food. And it's like, that's fucked up. Soup is great because you're basically not eating. It's like you don't have all the terrible parts of eating, but you get all the benefits. You basically get like a savory drink. You know what I mean? Or sweet. Or hearty. Hmm. I have no idea how we trigger the strangulation. Um. Did we already pass it? I think this is after strangulation, right? Stew is better. Stew is good too. Virgin Bucking Dolores is cereal soup. That's a good question. That's a good question! Is cereal soup? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's cereal. I'm not sure... ...what the difference is between... ...soup... ...and cereal. But you obviously know that cereal's not a soup. Right? Right? If anything, it would be like... I don't know what. But you can have... You can have milk and you can add stuff to milk. And you just have flavored milk. Mohammed Ignor, cereal is bread soup. No! That's <laughs> gone, this argument. I don't know. If you put mangoes in your milk, is that soup? Is that not just... 
Mango flavored milk? Drink? Cereal is soup. You can eat cereal dry. Also, yeah, you can eat cereal dry. Well, but then again, you can also eat the contents of soup dry, usually. Oh, that's a smoothie. But if you don't blend it, it's not a smoothie, because it's not smooth. Right? Right? Is yogurt soup. Yeah, is yogurt soup? Is yogurt a smoothie? How... What, what, is, what is the consistency for it to be soup? Hmm... Is there anything for two hours? What is your favorite soup? Chicken and dumplings. I like the Progresso chicken and dumplings. Did you show me thing, Dolores? Around these parts, it's just called food! Cool, it's me thing, Dolores. Cereal isn't soup, but it is ramen. Both involve adding a grain to a liquid. Oh my god. Uh, Luna Loyal is saying, Dolores. Cereal is chunky soup with a milk base. No, I refuse! I refuse! Motor oil is soup. No, it's not! Are you gonna eat motor oil? Maybe you should. Never made homemade? Chicken and dumplings? No way. No way, that's way too complicated. Hmm. For a while, I didn't like eating canned soup. Because I heard... It's like, really carcinogenic, right? Like, it's like... You're really likely to get cancer... From eating soup, because of the stuff they use... On the inside. And I was like, well that's not good! But then I was like... But I don't care! I wanna eat soup! You know? Sir Cooling Door, cereal isn't a soup, it's a broth! No! No! The milk would be the broth, by your logic. And literally everything gives cancer. Listen! If eating soup is what gives me cancer... I will die happy. JC Thing Doors, I'm testing you, Rabbit. You all or y'all? It depends. It depends on the flow state of the conversation. If I you microwave styrofoam... Yeah? And my immune system is stronger for it. This is thing, Fiddlers. I have a friend that is in a culinary field, and when you ask him if cereal is soup, his response is, Don't you even start? I think he has some trauma. Identification thing, Fiddlers. Clam chowder, number one. Uh, clam chowder is highly overrated. All right, you know, alternative to clam chowder. I think, I think, um... Cheddar mushroom soup is, 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 is much more delicious and can be eaten in a bread bowl and kind of have like the same vibe as clam chowder. Like clam chowder, fellas, you can't even taste the clam really. What's even the point? What's even the point? It's just not good. Mushroom, cheddar mushroom, not, uh, not, not mushroom, mushroom, uh, potato. Cheddar potato, cheddar potato soup. Great thing about two I just started my canned soup arc yesterday. What the fuck? You're a real one. The classic one, Lord. Cereal is soup, yogurt is a pate, and hot dogs are a taco. No. Rum ham thing, Fred Lord. Cereal is a salad. You are adding a liquid to a solid. Soup is a sol Soup is adding solid to liquid. Dressing isn't a liquid! Is it? Is a dressing a liquid? Is a dressing a liquid? Hot dogs are a sandwich. But they're aligned differently. Oh, how thing with Dolores? Chicken and sausage, gumbo, trumps all that. Ooh, gumbo. Who do you think, gumbo? What's your opinion on hot dogs being a sandwich? Listen, you can break it down into technicalities, all right? But at the end of the day, you're, you're, you're draining words of their meanings, all right? It's like when you, when you go on Twitter, all right? And people are like, oh my god. This, this, uh, that's pedophilia, right? About, like, somebody fucking, uh... Uh, what's, what's like a good example of this? What's like a direct example? When people, when people, um... Just in general, when people on Twitter call everything pedophilia, right? It's like the same thing. Like you're just, you're just bleeding language dry of its juices. You're, you're, you're grinding it down like a juicero. That's a reference. You know? You know? So no, a hamburger is not a sandwich. You might organize it as a sandwich. In um... 
in like a database, right? Like if you have to, if you have to break it down, right? If there's a tree, if it goes from like, if you're like A and then A, 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 B, right? And then you have like B and B, A, B, B, right? You have like the, you break things down more. You might list a hamburger underneath a sandwich for ease of sorting. But a hamburger is not a sandwich. You know? You know? Hamburger is literally a type of sandwich. But like, you wouldn't call it a sandwich. It is a sandwich. You're, 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 you're linguistic vampires, chat. You're linguistic vampires sucking, sucking meaning from, from, from words. And you're, you're sickening. You're gonna get sick. You're gonna get sick off of your own fumes. Your arrogant fumes. Smuggle box, even one dollars. Hey, Pippa. I want to thank you for singing the pony theme song during your bad karaoke stream. I was at My Little Pony Con and had your stream on at the hotel room TV. A dozen Brody friends were singing along. Thanks for the memories. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're a goober. I hope you had a good time, though. Ghoulian and Gumby What's your opinion on hot dogs being a sandwich? Wait, I already read that. They're not! JC, thank you for the two dollars. Null taught me that saying pedophile is like a gun. What? What? Uh, the Pegasus... I Peg Pegasus boxing my dollars. Speaking of food, some guy named Sound Lab on YouTube fixed your coffee by adding peach iced tea. I didn't believe it till I tried it myself. Really? I'll have to look into that. Chloe Toby named the noise. Is pastrami sandwich a burger? I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what pastrami is. Is that no rexing in front of The soup, cereal, hot dog sandwich questions are call me propaganda. True, true and real. Um. Rouse, thank you for Dolores. If anything, we're sick off of your fumes. Fuck you! Braxo, thank you for Pop tarts, a ravioli, and clam chowder is milk ocean. What the fuck? <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. No, it's not. No, it's not. Pop tarts are not ravioli. Listen, listen. That's like bread. Is pasta bread? Wait. Are pop tart sandwiches? I play Redux saying ten dollars, but does it have slivered onions? Shut up. You do shall be thinking for dollars. This is not a soup, but it's a sandwich. What would you think? What would it make you think otherwise? This is not a soup, but it's a sandwich. Really, just a ship post in disguise. James James and thing for dollars. A sandwich. Two or more slices of bread with filling such as a meat or cheese placed between them, like a hamburger. But it's not. Yeah, is ramen spaghetti? Is ramen spaghetti? Especially, like, sriracha-flavored ramen, right? Sriracha... Is sriracha, like, a... Like, a tomato base? Like, a citrus base? Is it... Is it um... Acidic base? Is sriracha-flavored ramen? Spaghetti? The Highland Juggler Link Dolores. Lasagna's a cake. No. Is there a raising them, baby? Is this game a convoluted food product, then? Maybe. Pop-tarts are deadly weapons? Are pop-tarts guns? <laughs> Lasagna is not a cake, goddammit. Well, why not? Lasagna is like the pasta, right? This type of pasta. And then it's got the uh, grain in it. And grain is made from bre bread. And then you put the bread down on the pan. And you put fruits. And shit on top, vegetables, which, which are ground into a paste, but how is that any different from a dressing, right? If you can have a fruit salad, is lasagna just a salad as well? With like croutons on top? Croutons mixed in? Because when you think about it, croutons are just like a grain, right? And so you have the fruit salad base. Which is the... Tomato. Tomato puree. And then you add... The croutons. Which are the lasagna noodles. And then you add... Maybe some cheese. Like a Caesar salad. What are tomatoes? A fruit. But what are you talking about? 
I did not get enough sleep. Richard Slammer, thank you for the five dollars. First off, getting paid only once a month sucks! But at least I've got Scratch now for supers. Wasn't there an anime named Milk Chan? Random crap humor? I don't remember. Correct something, Dolores Pippa. There was a kid expelled for a Pop Tart gun. There was. Do you guys want to talk about Pop Tart guns? To be a true Caesar salad, it has to be stabbed by the entire Roman Senate. I'm handling Dolores poll time! Oh my god. As if your guys' opinions matter. As if your guys' opinions on any subject matter, anyways. You want the Miss Super chat list? Ah, sure. You were supposed to do another route in the game, and then you guys distracted me with the very stupid topic. And now I'm gonna. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna ask Chat GPT later. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Chat GPT. Computers will know. The culmination of a bunch of culture and history, and people speak into it. They don't know. They don't know. And you know what it's gonna say, chat? It's gonna say, Holy fuck! Cringe! Holy cringe! Oops. Okay. Ah, I have DMs. What is all this? What is all this? Let's see here. Um... Oh yeah, I gotta record stuff. Um... Um... 1, 6 p.m. Dun 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 dun! How come I think the two dollars you can guilt trip chat BT... Chat... Chat... Hmm... Chat GPT, by the way. I tried it. But it doesn't actually feel guilt. So what's the point? Fellas, what is the point of... Emotionally abusing... A computer? More phaser thing, one of I bought a calzone and they forgot the meat and sauce. It was just a half moon Bosco stick. What the fuck is a Bosco stick? Comedic value? To feel something? Good luck with that one, idiot. For the hell of it? Where did this open to? Um... Notepad. No? Documents. I really wish they would stop moving! Everything around. File explorer. There we go. By the way, Luna, I think I'm 499. Pippa, are you not high when you stream? No? Thank you for your first ever super chat asking a very loaded question. Jesus Christ, no I'm not high when I stream. You know you've emotionally tortured that poor bot, chat GPT? No. No. Character AI though. Skeleton maids in for noise, so real, for real, for real, for real, for real. Dan Tranding for 20 protagonists reflects the streamer. Then is breakfast in Wendor's. Here's the last day of my lunch money, Pippa. I haven't eaten in five days. Let's fucking go! <gasps> you should probably eat. I'm trying to think what I had. I ate yesterday. I ate yesterday. Today, I had a bite of a muffin. And I should probably eat more than that. But... Maybe I'll have soup. Leon Zinger Dolores, Supas are free today. Don't mind if I do. JP Zinger Dolores, Pippa, can you and add you? How can I add you to my will? Uh, just just put down uh, Pipkin Pippa. It's definitely very legally binding. This is Zinger Dolores. I found this crumpled five in my pocket. You want it? How did you find it in your pocket if it's digital? This is Zinger Dolores. The two dollars. Hey Pippa, can you accompany me in my life as a Topa? If you want me to be your Topa, I'll be your Topa. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have you make good decisions. Wait, wait, thing with the five dollars. I don't have a girlfriend to leave me or a pet to die. I may be lonely, but at least I have money. Anyway, here's five dollars. You should start playing a gacha game. That'll fix that problem. Jinwoo, thank you. Jinwoo Hong, thank you. The picket says box name. Dolores, hi, Pippa. There's... Here's my last two dollars in my cancer fund. What do you mean by this? Sentinel Rack, thank you with two dollars. Back milk is also a military and cafeteria thing. Dr. Binksy, they were in the just surrender on reading every super chat you got. Too many people now. 
Hey, Kramer thing, Van Doris. This is a Harvard LSD study simulator. If so, where's Ted? I'll take over anything. Van Doris, here's one of my bills I found in my dog crate. Use it wisely. What are you keeping in your dog crate, buddy? Explain on Ada thing, Van Doris. Hate to think I got approved for experimental treatment for my lung condition. It's scary, but I'm hopeful. Wish me luck, Mrs. Pumpernickel. I'll need it. I mean, Mrs. Pumpernickel. What? Good luck! I believe in you! I have a document thing, Van Doris. Hello, Peppers. I see you're in good company. Me and Milk Chan here. We're best buds. Where I think we're the 1337? Uh, hello, Peppa. Happy birthday. Weird game, by the way. Weird game, indeed. Ken Noise Hat thing. Dolores, here's a couple towards bourbon. Milk is for wimps. Infernal Saxon thing. With Dolores, imaginary skeleton dinosaur models are very cool. D thing, Van Dolores. How long until one of my fellow Kapipis creates a Pippa I know at least one of us is on Adderall. Pippa is love. Pippa is life. Well, now. You do Shelby thing, Van Dolores. The sequel delves a lot more into the specifics while keeping things interestingly vague. A pickled cucumber thing, Van Dolores. Does Pippa only see pink? Yes. No. Or face thing, Dolores. A Bosco stick is a crazy bread stuffed with cheese. Is crazy bread? What's crazy bread? Is it off its meds? Talk glad thing, Van Dolores. Nice vocal fry, bro. Thanks, bro. Joe, I'm Joe thing, Van Dolores. Hey, Pippa, do you know your pin? You should prove it. Um. I don't think I will. I think you're tricking me. That was thing, Dolores. I forgot the pass. Bros, can we say what? Make the dick thing, Dolores. Why are bags under the eyes so cute? You know, you know, it's just it's just the superior it's just the superior look. Agent 10 thing, fun Dolores. Pippa wins the next karaoke stream. Even if your singing isn't the best, is a blast listening in, Pippa love. Check back next year. Panification thing, fun Dolores. Pippa, will you be playing that fruit Tetris game that has been popular recently? Free Pippa the Ripper. Stop suppressing our holy hymn. I don't think I'll play Suica game, watermelon game, on stream. I just don't think it's that interesting for stream, right? Like, what would I even say during it? What would I even say? I don't know. I don't think I'll stream it. I think it's past its expiration anyways. The fruit is moldy. Ask a curve thing. Lars, love the game about your daily lived experience. Shut the fuck up. Sentinel Rex, thank you for the... $2. If I'm not real, is my money a figment too, Well, Yes. Arise in spirit thing, Von Loris. I'm more than a set of numbers, I swear. Also, I'm really happy you're playing one of my favorite games. You're so based. This is one of your favorite games. Why? Not why, like, derogatory, but why... Curious, question mark. <laughs> oh, but Merkel Hopper thing, Loris. I'm confused. Where is the milk in this game? She's the milk. Sideways thing, Von Loris. To be honest, this game seems best enjoyed on my own. Might play it myself. It's pretty interesting. The visuals are simplistic, but still thought-provoking. Sentinel Rex thing, Dolores. The female mind was a mistake. So true. Women suck. Sideways thing, Dolores. What communism does to a motherfucker? Is there a thing, Dolores? Cereal is a grain salad. Sideways thing, the two dollars. Ever had tangent soup? Quite scrumptious. Hey, well, nation thing, Dolores. Cereal is a soup. Shut up. We're not doing this again. Eldorado, Eldo, Eldorado, Eduardo thing with the two dollars. Hamburger is a vertical sandwich. Baraxo thing with the two dollars. Pop tarts are ravioli and clam chowder is milk. Oh my god, I already read that. And you're stupid. And the other thing come to me when you find these odd dark novel games. Wait, when when you find these odd dark novel games, it's some of my favorite streams. Slay the princess, save the milk girl. Hmm 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 hmm. Luna loyalist thing with dollars. A sandwich is two slices of something with filling in between. Hence why it's used in many contexts. JC thing with dollars. As in, it's a word that can kill. Tactics, thing with 5,000 wounds. Pippa's Pop-Tart was delicious. And Dakota, thing with 1337. Thank you for stream. Really helped turn my day around. Voice acting was great, as per usual. First game is perfect for what it is, in my opinion. A weird and concise half-story for a buck. <laughs> I think I preferred the first one. The production value is definitely higher on the second one. But I also prefer something about... I don't know. I liked how the first one was more unrefined. Since I feel like it kind of... I don't know, it makes me feel more like I'm in the character's head. I don't know. I liked the color scheme too in the other one. It really felt like... We were in her world. 
I don't borrow things of ours. Oh, well, you already read this. Shut up. Hmm. <laughs> I like both, but also prefer the first one. Ghost politics and come to be Pippa, my love, for Christmas. Did you want the 12 foot size. 12 foot life size build a bear? I missed it. I missed it. You know, I ordered the cinema roll. I ordered the, the large cinema roll. And it. It, 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 I think I already, I think I already complained about this. You like the art style of the sequel? I liked what the first one. Not seeing the faces and stuff. Made it more easy to get invested. You know? Hmm. Hmm. Like, when you give her a proper face... It's less... I don't know. I don't know! Now it's more easy to engage. Mm -hmm. I guess I just liked... Imagining what she must have been feeling. Rather than... When you see her face and her expressions, you know what she's feeling? I don't know. First one was also more concise. Mm -hmm. The first one was also more concise. I feel like this one at points kind of dragged on. But it wasn't that long. It was only two hours. The true Tulpa experience. This immersion is engagement of actually being in her mind. Yeah. Yeah. Too much tell on an show. Hmm. I think they showed by telling, right? I think in the way that she spoke, we got like a little bit of a glimpse into her mind and stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know. It does go too deep in this one with the writing. Yeah. Yeah. I preferred. I preferred the first one. I preferred the first one. But maybe I'll play the other routes at some point and be able to form a more great perspective. Me word good, real good. Good use word many. Much. I'm gonna raid somebody. <laughs> oh, he's live. I'll raid Nasha. I'll raid Nasha. Pippa word master, indeed. Well, I think I'm on the list. Thanks, Pippa. I took your advice and did some tadpoles in Mahjong Soul. I got Kuro and Miyu! I just have Ilya left! What the fuck?! Fuck you! Shut the fuck up. Is this still live? It says it's live. If it's... If it's a bot, then... Fuck you guys. <laughs> Nasa, hi! Nasa, hi! Nasa, hi! Bahamut, think you were the five dollars. You would probably say something along the lines of, "Why won't these goddamn, but well, uh, why won't this goddamn fruit just touch?" That sounds kind of gay. Why aren't the fruits touching? <laughs> All right. Oh, it's so cringe. Bye bye. I'll see you guys tomorrow with who knows what. <laughs>